hello guys welcome to my new video in this video i'll be talking to you about program relocation so why do we need program relocation we see that a uh, program normally starts with 0 0 0 and suppose this uh, there are two programs running simultaneously at the same time so both are having same address so how will we do that so we can run the we can load the program both the programs in the same memory location so what we do is we load the program in some other memory location where there is space so program relocation is happens new, uh, with jump instruction j sub jump subroutine it means so jump subroutine's code is 4p10 it is fixed code and you it will never change and it is having a read record and its value will be uh, the value of uh, read record where the read record is stored that means in uh, 1036 the record read record is stored so if there is no space over here what happens is the program is relocated to another location where there is space so in 5000 we see it is empty so this program is relocated over here so uh, when there is jump uh, jump subroutine instruction it adds the starting address with 1036 and we get 6036 and that will be the address of the read record similarly if you want if you are placing that uh, program on 7420 the read record value will be 7420 plus 1036 that will give 8456 that will be the address of the read record so the relative address will always be same relative to the starting address this is 1036 related to 0000 0, 0, 0. this is 6036 related to 5000 this is 7420 related to no uh, sorry 8456 related to 7420 so this is what is program relocation now I'll see what is uh, the definition the only parts of the program that require modification at the load time are those that specify direct addresses direct addresses you will see the address specified over here the direct address only here modification is needed the rest of the instruction need not be modified uh, because it is PC relative and base relative so we need not modify other instructions uh, because PC will first contain 5000 then it will add uh, add 2 bytes say one instruction is 2 bytes it will add uh, 5002, 5003, 5004 then when it comes to 5006 it has to jump not to 1036 but it has to jump to 6036 so here we need modification so that's what it is said over here direct addressing needs to be modified from the object program it is not possible to distinguish the address and constant mm. it is very clear from the object program we can't distinguish uh, the address and the constants assembler must keep some information tell to the loader the object program that contains the modification record is called relocatable program So how do we solve that? The ways to solve relocation program is 
its address is assigned relative to the start address as I told you produce a modification record to store the starting location and the length of the address field to be modified now you see modification record one modification record for each address to be modified the length is stored in half bytes that means usually it is stored in one byte so it will be four bits that is half bytes the starting location is the location of the byte containing the leftmost bits of the starting of the address field to be modified uh, that means we see that the you see over here first it will be m then 2 to 7 will be the starting location of the address field to be modified related to the uh, beginning of the program it means 2 to 7 that means 6 uh, 6 what you say 6 location uh, address locations will be for from where the uh, modification record is to be done and the uh, next 8 to 9 will be the length of the modification record in half bytes we see here we need only one byte usually it is two bytes in the previous video you would have seen is two bytes so we, in this we need only one byte not uh, yeah half a byte that means four bits from this diagram we can see how it looks in the object program it is mapped from here we see the address over here and the length over here it is mapped to the address so this is how relocation of program is done so i hope it is clear if you have any doubts please comment and if you want any topics to in which i should make video please tell me and don't forget to like subscribe and don't forget to share this video if you understood thank you